One year ago, Uncle Joe gave Emmanuel Macron a major blow when he persuaded Australia to cancel its submarine deal with France. The new deal with Australia came to be known as AUKUS, where US and UK vowed to fulfill Australia's nuclear submarine needs. However, because of the AUKUS's delayed arrival, Australian PM Anthony Albanese lost interest in it. Now, Canberra is in the mood to depart from AUKUS and guess who saw this as a window of opportunity? Yes, Paris. It is now eyeing to make a grand return with its counter offer. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Atul Mishra and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI Global channel yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. According to the Navy recognition, French President Emmanuel Macron has offered his Australian counterpart, Anthony Albanese, for submarines, despite the AUKUS security pact being described as a stab in the back by the French authorities. Reportedly, after a meeting with Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese in July, Macron was infuriated by the way France was replaced by the West in the land down under. Now, taking advantage of Australian PM's nonchalant behavior towards the West, he has reportedly offered to supply four submarines to Canberra. France is puffed up with pride now that it has presented Australia with a counter offer. Anne Gennetit, a member of parliament of Macron's Renaissance party and secretary of the Defence Commission in the National Assembly, does not deny making that offer. It makes sense that France would want to take advantage of the situation because we have the necessary skills knowledge and high quality materials, she informed RFI. If one remembers exactly one year ago, as part of its alliance with the United States and the United Kingdom, Australia declared its intent to acquire nuclear powered general purpose attack submarine or the SSN, cancelling the 12 submarine pact with France. This decision involved the cancellation of a contract for naval group to provide 12 Barracuda class submarines to the Royal Australian Navy, which resulted in a significant diplomatic crisis with Paris. However, now a year later, Australia is yet to resolve whether it's going to move forward with AUKUS. For Albanese, the name AUKUS is mud. He has zero interest in moving ahead with a deal with Washington and London, given the delay in the deliveries. It is not expected that Australia, which lacks a nuclear industry, will own a nuclear submarine by the year 2040. Moreover, the six Collins-class submarines that have now been deployed in its water will fulfill their duties to the fullest prior to that date. This raises the possibility of a serious capability breakdown for Australia in the future. The conclusions of a strategic defense review and a report from the Nuclear Submarine Task Force, though, are still pending. As Australia continues to be in a black mood, Paris is legit up in the air. Australia cannot risk waiting for the US submarines to replace its aging fleet. So the obvious answer for Canberra is to turn to France to fill in the gaps. To be honest, Albanese intends to do so. Ever since he was sworn into power, Australia is continuously trying to mend its frozen relations with France. In July, Anthony Albanese met with Emmanuel Macron as his new Labour government was looking forward to mending fences after a major diplomatic spat with France. Richard Marles, the Australian Defence Minister, recently visited France to meet with Sebastien Lecordneau, the French Defence Minister. The Australian Defence Ministry emphasised that it is determined to cooperate in projects that would strengthen the defense cooperation between France and Australia. And now here we are with a submarine contract between France and Australia possibly making a comeback. It won't be an exaggeration to say that from the very start of the AUKUS deal, US President Joe Biden made many mistakes. First, he attempted to undermine France in an area where the US actually has very little power. Then Biden betrayed his own NATO partners because 
USA's defense sector was threatened by France's boundless ability in the same sector. When AUKUS was announced, France was blindsided. But now the blue-eyed boy, Macron, is all set to give US a severe blow.